Welcome in, my dear one. What surprises are headed your way? What surprises are headed straight your way? That is what we want to find out. So take a breath, release those shoulders. This is Psychic Mia from SpiritualSociety.com. I'm so thrilled to have you in here. Exhale, exhale, let anything go that you need to let go. I want you to be here. Let that energy of yours become crystal clear. Start to feel drawn to one of these four cards. Let your energy move. Yeah, choosing card one, card two, card three, or card four. Take a breath. Let your intuition guide you. And choose a card right now. Hmm. Ah, my dear card one, welcome in. What surprises are around the corner for you? What surprises are around the corner for you? What do you need to know? What surprises are coming your way? What surprises are around the corner for you? What surprises are around the corner for you? Let's find out. Okay, so we're starting with the Six of Pentacles reversed. I feel like there might be a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a negative financial turn for you and this could get into this could get into my this could also be an item something that you have or some of your possessions or something like even to do with like a car or something that you own where that sort of hits a, a sort of hard to handle little grimace spot of financial happenings for you and we have the seven of cups reversed so I also feel like something that you've been dreaming about, something that you've been thinking about, um, something that you've been internalizing in your mind, building up as something, it's about to come to pass. Something that you've been thinking a lot about, the thoughts that you've been having about it are about to start manifesting. So I'd be very careful about what you are thinking about, what you've been daydreaming about. Because that goes for good and bad things. Oh my goodness. Hello, Ten of Cups. So also something beautiful and bright and wonderful is headed your way. Something really magnificent that feels just absolutely golden, like every good happy thing that you have been dreaming of. Um, the family that you've been dreaming of, the, the contentedness that you've been dreaming of, the sort of home life that you've been dreaming of to fill up your heart cups, to fill up your feelings, your emotions. That's headed your way too. And that could either be headed your way in a really imminent, immediate sort of way. That could also be headed your way in the shape of a person coming into your life. If you need to let go of any sort of thoughts about how fast something can happen or what you're looking for or old belief systems that you need to let go of, I suggest doing that right now. Taking a look at those things. Okay. So we also have the Four of Swords reversed. So I also think you're going to get a little unexpected break, uh, something that you need to take. It is required of you. Um, and I feel like this could come from just like you have been running it from all ends, all sides, burning the candle at both ends. You are absolutely exhausted and fatigued. Um, there could be, but I, I think you're going to get a much needed rest whether you like it or not kind of thing. So I would say make some room and make some time in this for, for this in your life so that you can regroup, recharge, do what you need to do because other things are headed your way that you're going to need to have that energy for. So it's going to be required. It's energetically required from the universe. I think you're just burning out and you're feeling really burnt out. And so you're going to have to take some time. So maybe make that yourself. Decide on that for yourself. Nine of Wands reversed. I also think that something that caused you a lot of pain in the past is about to pop up and surprise you. Something that you've been, you've been really, so you know, you get those thorns in your side, you get those old wounds, those things that really hurt you. And I think you've been nursing it. You've been like really protective of something. Uh, you know, like it's the thing you're really, you get really defensive of and you get really scared of and that you really protect from the world. And I think that you're about to have something um, really surprise you about this that's going to really come around. Um, something that you find out about something from the past, a story that you didn't know. 
uh, some knowledge that you didn't know, somebody coming to make amends. I think something like that is about to pop into your life. Maybe an ex coming with an apology or coming to shed some light on something that you really needed to know and that you really needed some closure for. I feel like that's just around the corner. Okay. And the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords, whoosh. Uh, something kind of laying you flat here. You cannot move. You cannot. There is no getting around this. This is like boom. And I feel like a bit of this stems from all of this down here. Take that rest or you're going to be laid out. So I feel like there is a way to just to, to handle this, to handle this complete like can't go on, cannot continue, fully incapacitated. I think you need this rest in order to handle yourself so that you don't get to the point where you just have nothing and you cannot even, you know, you cannot even move. You cannot, oh look, my sleeves just keep bumping into everything. Um, it really just lays you out. And that doesn't have to be a bad thing. The sun. So I feel like there's something bright and shiny and optimistic and wonderful that feels like the sunshine headed your way, which makes perfect sense because we have some yummy goodies coming your way. Um, do what you need to do to get in the right space for that. Get the healing that needs to happen. Get the rest that needs to happen. Hopefully we don't have to be completely laid out, but if you do know that like this too shall pass, there is something golden and yummy and sunshiny coming your way that's optimistic and happy and full of just golden light. And you're going to feel, I feel like you're going to feel like laughing, you know, when nobody's around, smiling when you don't even realize that you've been smiling. Things are just going to light you up. The Knight of Cups, and I am seeing this as a delivery of some sort, a delivery of something that leads you to this person, and maybe it's another person that leads you to this person, but it's like a delivery of your feelings, your heart. Oh, I just saw a huge spider. <laughs> That's a surprise for me. There's a huge spider next to me. Um, I think there is something coming your way, and I think that you need to... I think you need to be on the lookout for it. You need to be ready for that momentum, that action coming your way. I think you need to be ready for the delivery of a message, something that's going to guide you, lead you, take you on this journey, walk you right over to, to exactly what you want. Don't be afraid. Lean in. The spider made it safely outside. Okay, here we go. Uh, all right. Surprises. The Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords. I think you're going to realize that you've not been looking at something. Something that you have had responsibility for all this time that you thought was in somebody else's hands. Something that you thought that you had no control over that you do. Something you've been held captive by for a long time. And it's been feeling like a cold winter of captivity with this thing. Um, but you've been able to release yourself this whole time. And you're going to realize that. Uh, it's going to be a beautiful surprise. Mm -hmm. And the Ace of Wands, new opportunities, new things coming your way, fresh things being delivered. I think that there's, uh, I think there's, there's something coming in that I want you to ride. And I think that this is part of it. So there's something that's really just coming on a gust of wind. It's just coming straight to you. It's a very fiery. It's going to feel really fun. I feel like there might be a little trepidation in your mind about what this is when it comes in. You might be a little reticent, a little bit scared of it. If you're with me so far, go ahead and drop a sun below. I want that optimism, that positivity um, dropped below for my card one. Um, okay, so we have the Nine of Pentacles reversed, which is interesting because we had, you know, this sort of financial setback over here, the Six of Pentacles reversed. I feel like uh, something might get remedied with the financial situation. Something might come in with strings attached to it. So it's going to feel like, oh, wow. Everything that I needed is being delivered, but also take a really good look at what that offer is. 
because there's something that might make you feel like a caged bird in that, that might make you feel like a, a bit of a prisoner to whatever the solution, the resolution might be. Um, so really pay attention, be aware, be really focused around your financial things um, coming up. I want you to really take, take note of what's happening in your financial life. I want you to get pulled into something that doesn't feel good. And the three of cups, I feel like somebody else is about to pop back into your life that's like an old friend or uh, and someone who makes you happy and joyful and you're going to laugh and have fun and have a whole bunch of feelings about it. Maybe some fun dinners. If there's somebody in your life that you think of when I say that, maybe it's time for you to reach out to them to make that happen. Um, but I feel like they're there's going to be sweeping in soon. So you're about to have some really fun. It feels unexpected. It feels like uh, this could even be somebody that you didn't, you don't know all that well. You got invited to a thing, a party or something that ends up being really good for you uh, that you maybe were thinking about passing up or turning down or not going, not investing in the relationship. And it feels really good for you. So maybe somebody from your past or maybe something kind of new. Um, there might be some real potential for some friendships to blossom here. Okay, so before I turn over our last card, I do wanna do two special things. So first of all, I wrote out some little cards and I wanna just see a little note of what you need to know, what you need to know, what you need to know, and honestly, I'm feeling this tough. Give yourself time and space to release. Give yourself the time and space to release. Give yourself the time and space to release. If you can release this, I think you can stop this from laying you out. I think you can, I think the end result is like really you need to take a break. I think you've been running too hard, too fast, too many things on your mind, too much in your world. I think you need some time just to like have a staycation, just be at home, release, relax, you know, have nothing weighing on your mind, disconnect from all technology, from notifications, whatever you need to do, hide away, bury yourself away, release, relax, let it go. Give yourself the time and space to do that. I am also going to pull one of these gorgeous ancestor, um, ancestor angel oracle cards. Um, that I just got. I really love these. They're just so wonderful. Just for a little of what you need to know. Sun, enjoy success and happiness. Wow. Hey, enjoy success and happiness. This is all leading to a very good place. It is time to embrace that. Open your hands to that. Open your hands to all the things that are going to get you there, even if they're uncomfortable, even if you don't want to slow down and relax and release, even if, if it feels uncomfortable, whatever that is, whatever you have to face and let go of in order to embrace it because really good things are headed your way. Drop that sun emoji in the comments below because it is coming. The sun is coming. I'm going to pop this sun Gosh, I want to pop it right next to the sun, but I don't really want to cover anything up. Um, so I'm just going to pop it up here. Um, uh, I love that. Okay, I'm going to pull over this card, and then I'm going to give you the chance to ask a question as well. So we have one other thing coming once I pull over our anchor card. So we have the three of wands reversed. I feel like there's going to be a little reminiscing here, a little looking back on past old things. It's going to bring you to a new space. It's going to take you to a new destination. There are new things coming. That fire is going to be lighting. New things are headed your way, but it's going to bring up some old stuff from the past. So sort of be ready for that. It's going to make you want to like reminisce and take time to do that. And maybe you're going to need the time to heal some old things while you're doing that. Maybe that's what that is to be able to release and let go so you can move forward. But whatever you need to look back at, you can also look back at and that's okay too. So I have four answers to a yes or no question. So you can ask right now out loud any yes or no question that you have. One answer is yes, one answer is no, one answer is maybe, and one answer is that you need more clarity or that this needs more clarity. Uh, so go ahead and ask that question now. I 
And here's our answer. Clarity is needed. And how do we get that clarity? How do we find that? How do we figure out what is buried underneath? what has been in the subconscious, what has been unknown. I think it's taking that time. I think it's really taking that time. And then you can get that clarity. Clarify, clarify what it is that you really want because it's coming to you. So clarify, get really crystal clear on what it is that's gonna feel like sunshine, that's gonna feel really good, that you want to come right into your life with a fiery passion on the wind. Figure that out, clarify. Clarity is needed for your question. Ah, oh, my dear one. Sending you off into the world with sunshine, with love, with new opportunities, with some things that are going to feel uncomfortable, with some good rest and release, with playtime and joy as well. Some really wonderful things coming to you. I'm sending you love. I'm sending you so much light. I can't wait to do this with you again. Mwah. Mia. Welcome in card two. What surprises are headed your way? Exhale, exhale. Release anything that you don't want. All right, so I've already done a good shuffle. I'm figuring out what you need to know. What surprises are coming your way? What you need to know, what you need to know. Okay, here we go. So we have the moon reversed. Oh gosh. I feel like your deeper intuition, something that's been held in the darkness, something that you have been so afraid to look at is going to just creep up on you and shine its full light on you. There is something that's been hidden. It's coming to the surface. And I think it's, it's very much something you already know. It's just been hidden away. And I think if you can let that realization happen, you're gonna re you're gonna find out that actually this realization it ch it just sheds light on everything. It is exactly what you needed to know. Uh, I think that a whole bunch of change could be possibly coming with that. There might be some real change coming your way. Is what I'm feeling. Whoop. Okay, and we have the Emperor upright. So interesting. I feel like someone who's kind of very strong, very intelligent, great at decision making, um, someone who feels maybe a bit like a father figure, somebody who maybe feels extremely structured and um, and knowledgeable is, is about to release some information into your life. Maybe you have an idea who this person is. Maybe you immediately think, oh, this person. It could be your actual father. Um, it could be someone who feels like that or a boss or, um, but I feel like there's something important coming here and it's good to just sort of know that that's on the horizon. There's something important coming that way from that direction. And we have the Six of Cups. So I also feel like something from Something that feels old and familiar and warm and cuddly, um, something that feels like it feels like childhood, it feels like it's it's linked up with some memories in your mind is about to sort of just this feels kind of like a low key surprise, like like just something fun, like you find a series of books that you just are a little obsessed with. Or maybe there's a, a, an old series of movies or something that just sort of pops up into your world that makes you nostalgic for this time. It gives you some warm, cozy comfort. It feels really good. Um, maybe you find something streaming that just feels like, a, like an outfit that you never want to take off, that you just want to wear for the whole week. Um, but I feel like that's kind of not a, maybe not like super pressing and important, but something fun that's coming your way. Something that just sort of, you know, feels like a cup of hot cocoa. Okay. And we have judgment. So I feel like with judgment, there is something interesting. I feel like there's something heading into your way. A decision is coming down the pipeline. There's something that you've been curious about for a while, and maybe about three weeks, something like that. It may be more like three months. Something very immediate, though, that's really been building up a lot of questions in your mind. How's it going to go? Is it going to go this way? Is it going to go that way? 
what is the decision going to be? How am I going to handle it? How is it going to be handled? And I feel like the judgment for that, the answer to that is coming. It is here. It is, you're going to get an answer. Um, and so that's going to be delivered to you. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. And we have temperance. I feel, this feels kind of like a most, this feels almost like a forced temperance, like a forced uh, balance. Like you are now required to have balance in this part of your life because of your responsibilities, your obligations, your emotions, your, so, and it kind of feels like this might have to do with, with some habits in your life um, that you're just sort of, put into a path where now everything kind of has to be more balanced. It's, you know, like whatever you might have been doing in excess, whether it was, you know, like eating or binge watching something or, um, or drinking or emotional deep diving, emotionally being like very one intense way. Um, but I feel like there's some habit here that's about to require your balance shopping. Um, and, and I think in a lot of ways, it doesn't feel like it's going to be hard. You're just going to naturally sort of come to a space where you don't have time. You don't have, and I feel like this is a, also a gift because it just is that you have to be more tempered about whatever it is. And it doesn't feel like you know, like you don't really have a choice, but also it doesn't feel like a hardship. It's not going to feel so hard to cultivate some of those new habits. I feel like this is a gift where you can really lean into this. So you can keep riding this when whatever the wave is that's over where you could go back to being, you know, really all in on that one thing or all in on that other thing. You can kind of cultivate a whole new relationship with that habit. That feels like a, a real gift. And the 10 of wands reversed. So something that's not coming to completion, I feel like this might be a little bit of a, I would, I would really keep your eyes open and watch out for something that has the possibility of falling apart, something you've been working really hard to pull together. This could be a work project, this could be a romance, this could be uh, something you've just really been cultivating, you've really been working hard on it, pulling it all together. I think there's a real potential that you might just have to open up your arms and let it all go. And I would make that commitment now of how you're gonna respond to that. You're gonna need a bunch of recovery time. Maybe you need something soft and squishy to feel comfortable with. Um, or maybe you need the advice of somebody who's wise, or maybe it ignites this enlightenment over here. But there is something that's, I think, just about to just sort of fall apart in your hands a little bit. And that's going to require you to get back up and get back in the game and see how you can make the recovery, what kind of recovery you can make and how quickly you can, you know, turn your vision and, and accept what's happened. So we have the nine of wands reversed. Oh, that's interesting. I did a good shuffle and this was in our last reading as well. So I feel like, I feel like for you, this is coming through as, uh, as, as just feelings, old feelings coming up, old feelings that you've repressed for a long time over old wounds and old hearts, something you feel very passionate about, and it might make you flare up. So I feel like some of your triggers might be pushed here coming up and that you should really keep an eye out for how you want to react and how you want to handle things. And the Ace of Pentacles reversed. So this feels like something, I feel like something is coming your way that is a great surprising financial opportunity. Like it's going to be an amazing financial opportunity, but it's going to come in a shroud of, of old clothes. You know, it's going to be it's going to look like, oh, this is just, you know, this is just kind of a thing, but not a big deal. And, and actually it has some real weight to it. And I don't think it's just financial. I think it's, it gets into like passion and, and yummy goodness too. But I think this is a real like financial boon as well. Like something that could lead to some mega 
financial changes in the coming months. And the two of swords reversed. So I feel like you have been, you were delaying on making a decision and there was something that you were really going back and forth on that you were deciding not to choose about and you're not choosing made your choice for you. And that choice is about to show up. Um, that choice is about to just sort of pop up and, and I don't think you're going to get to say one way or the other. I think that, 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 that non-decision, that non-choosing is going to end up having a result now. It's going to end up having a, a judgment. And the Four of Swords reversed also in our last poll. I feel like you need a rest too. I feel like you need a break. And this feels to me like it could just be a stress break. I feel like you have to pull yourself out of the fray. Give yourself some time. Is there something you could do in the mornings this week to just help you on your way? Something that you could just like a 20 minute meditation in the morning or a routine in the morning, a 20 minute walk away from everything before you connect, before you start doing your work, before you, just something to help you release and relax and find some rest. Because I feel like the, you know, I feel like your instinct is not going to be to give this to yourself, to not give yourself the rest that you need. And you need it. You like really need it. It's actually something that's going to really help you move forward. But your instinct is going to be to not do it. You don't want to do it. You don't want to have the rest. And I think that that rest is going to help you handle all of this. Okay. And the Page of Cups reversed. So I feel like there's there there's a surprising message that's coming through, but it's something that you're not looking for. It's something you're not expecting. It's something out of the blue, but it's something that's going to feel, I feel like it's going to feel optimistic. It's going to feel good, positive, bring up a lot of feelings, have the potential to lead you down the road to a lot of feelings in your heart space. I feel like this could have to do with love, that there's a surprising little message coming forward um, that you're not looking for and you could easily overlook. So I want you to really sort of be on the lookout for that so that you can see it, so you don't overlook it. And the Four of Cups, interesting. So I also feel like something you said or thought that you didn't want that you were you were not interested in is going to be offered to you. And I think you should really reevaluate. That could be a person. Uh, I feel like that could be like a romantic person that you're like, no, I'm not interested in that. I'm not interested in this person. And I think you should revise a little bit. Take a moment to actually spend a little bit of time on this. Don't make a quick, swift judgment of rejection. Um, be open. I feel like there's something special. There's something special there that you can't see at first. It's not there at first glance. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So before we turn this anchor card over, we have a couple of extra special things. Um, so I'm going to do a couple of extra special things, then flip this card over. But in the meantime, go ahead and pop a moon below. Let's pop a moon below for this like big intuitive, like thing that you've known that's about to like just boom, float up into your life. Um, and let me know that you're here with me, my card too. Okay, so this is going to be a little note of something you need to know this week, something you need to know this week, something you need to know this week. Give yourself this uh, time and space to release. Same one as the first group. Give yourself the time and space to release. I feel like this is very much connected to this. This Four of Swords reversed. You don't want to. I feel like you're going to be so resistant to this. 
Maybe you're just like productivity, productivity, productivity. I need to go, I need to go, I need to go, I need to do, I need to do, I need to do. I think you need to step back. Woo, I think you need to pull back. And I think it could be in a very little way. I think that you're being able to pull yourself out, give yourself the space and time, give yourself a little bubble within each day, really. Because I, you, I think you need it, you deserve it. It's showing you that you love yourself. I think it's gonna make you love life. I think it's gonna give you the time to like, oh gosh, this is what this feels like to be unencumbered, to, to be free, to, to just breathe again. Give yourself that gift, what a gift. I'm also pulling an Angel Ancestor card oracle for a little tidbit of what you need to know. I love these cards, I just got them. And we have the Spirit Fox. Trust your talents in changing times. Trust your talents in changing times. Trust your talents in changing times. Things are gonna change. Things are gonna open up and and be enlightened for you. And trust your talents. You are, you're agile like a fox. You got this. You understand the woods. You know this ground. You're smart here. You are so smart here. Trust your inner guides. Trust your inner instincts. Trust your inner wisdom. Trust your intuition. Let it bubble up. Let it come to the surface. Lean in and let your talents just shine through here. So now you also get the opportunity to ask a question. You can ask a question, a yes or no question about anything you like. Anything we discussed today, anything that's not on here, this is just a yes or no question. So one answer on here is yes, one answer on here is no, one is maybe, and one is needs more clarity. So let's find out. Take a breath, ask your question. Clarity is needed. Clarity is needed. You have to get really clear on this in order for this to be answered. You need to spend some time getting clear on this. And this is going to help that rest, that release is going to help clear the waters and give you the space that you need to figure it out, to get the clarity, maybe some more answers. And how could you get those? Okay, so we have our last card, our ink card. which is the magician reversed. So interesting, what surprises are headed your way? The magician reversed. The magician is our manifestation. I mean, the talents here to manifest, every tool at hand, everything able and available. And I think, I, I think, the, I think the big surprise here is your real abilities. I feel like you don't fully encompass them you don't really believe in them. You don't really trust them. I feel like you, you know, you play with it. You lean in sometimes, but you have never really let yourself fall in. What would happen if you let yourself fall in this week to the magic of manifestation, manifesting what you truly desire? If you know what you truly desire, if you have clarity on that, you can bring it together. You can get your talents together. You can use the new opportunities coming your way, the things you can't see that you're gonna have to be sharp-eyed for, the intuitive bubbles that pop up, the space and time with this new temperance coming in. I want you to see how you can truly manifest. And I want you to let yourself just lean right into it. Hatch a plan today, today. Get the feeling, get the emotional feeling of the outcome. Get real clarity, write it out, journal about exactly what you want because it can come together and it's gonna be the biggest surprise of your life. The ability that you have to bring exactly what you want into your life. What a joy. Pop that moon below in the comments. 
Open up your hands to this. Manifest what you truly desire. Give yourself the rest. Give yourself a bubble. Let yourself sink into something nice and cozy. Look out for that, that whatever's incoming from that sort of father figure, the intuitive bubbles that just pop up that you've been repressing. The, all of these, the decision that you can embrace it, that's been sort of made for you. Embrace it and move with it and move forward into the future. Look for those opportunities. What maybe you thought you didn't want, take time to reevaluate that. Lean into the, this forced temperance that's going to come over you. Lean into the decisions that are about to be made about something you care about. If everything falls apart and falls out of your hands, know how you're going to recover and know how you're going to move forward. Trust your talents in changing times, my fox. <sighs> Give yourself space to release. I'm sending you off with love. I'm sending you off with so much light. I can't wait. See you again next time. Mwah. Mm. Mia. Yeah. Welcome in card three. Oh, let everything go. Be here now. Be with me. All right, let's get going. So we're looking at what surprises you need to be looking out for. What surprises are headed straight your way? Okay, so... Mm -hmm. So right away we have the world. Some really good things are headed your way. There are some really exciting, intense, wonderful, overwhelming things that are coming right into your world. And I think things are just gonna feel like, oh, I could have everything that I want. Look at this, these opportunities are coming in. I could have everything that I want. Love, happiness, career, good things. I feel like things are gonna really line up. You're gonna have some really strong, happy, good surprises. Oh, we have the Six of Swords reversed. So I'm feeling like if you're planning on some travel, if you're planning on going somewhere, if there's something that you're you're planning on, uh, it might get canceled. So be careful with travel. If there's some travel coming up, just take it in hand that it might either get canceled or there might be some problems with it, some setbacks. Really take your time, plan it out really well. Um, take a really good look at it. Be sort of really, really keep your eye on it and plan, you know, plan ahead, take extra precautions. Okay. We have the star reversed. So I'm feeling like maybe you've been feeling out of your element. Maybe you've been feeling like, like you, maybe you've been feeling a little dim, like, like you haven't been able to fully encompass yourself. Maybe you've been lethargic. Maybe you've been uh, out of your element, maybe your work projects, your love life, like you just haven't been seen. You don't feel like you've been really truly seen. And I feel like there's an opportunity here for you to get there, to get back to that, to be really seen, to be really appreciated for everything that you're bringing to the table, for all of your beautiful emotions, for all of your shininess. But, um, but I think that you're going to have to jumpstart that. So I think that engine needs to start with you. Um, and now let's see a great way to start that, that I would say if you could figure out, uh, maybe a really good meditation session, even right now, or maybe starting early in the morning, but something to light you up on fire, to get you going, to move you forward. And even just the superficial things, looking beautiful, feeling like you look beautiful, feeling like you're in your element, um, feeling like you're a 10, doing what you need to do to clean out your closet, to unclutter your life, to help push you forward and move you into that, into that place. Mm -hmm. And we have the three of cups reversed. So uh, again, with the cancellation feeling of possible trip being canceled or things going awry, I'm feeling that too for some sort of party or event or something, and perhaps these two things are linked together. Perhaps there's some travel planned for a party or a wedding or a, a bachelorette or a, or something that's going on to go visit someone and and have a and I feel like something's gonna go something's gonna go south with that too. So be on the lookout, pay attention. 
that could be in cancel mode, that could be in just sort of things going haywire and needing to really pay extra attention and, and figure out the details and plan a little extra hard. And we have the Ten of Swords. So I feel like it's possible that somebody might be coming into your life from the past and that might bring up a whole bunch of old stuff maybe an ex walks back in maybe an ex dms you texts you reaches back out and brings up some old pain that just puts you out puts you out of commission a bit and that also could be some criticism some negative criticism, something that's hard for you to handle, hard for you to hear, hard for you to deal with. Stuff that's really going to stick to you and be very difficult for you to release that energy and move on from. So this would be a good time to make that commitment right now of how how to best jumpstart yourself out of this space if you end up in this space or to visualize and feel out what your maneuvers would be, what your um what your response and your reaction would be to something like that how do you handle it what is your what are your action steps moving forward to deal with this so that you don't have three days of trying to unstick yourself from this situation or to get emotionally back in those things can last for a long time they can set you into a path and sort of take you down to a space that you probably don't want to be in so i would pay a little extra attention to to the planning aspect of that of how you can manage yourself from that space what your reactions would be and visualize it all the way through the knight of wands reversed so i feel like there might be some news coming in there's something that could take you that could take you to another space, a career space, fiery, passionate, like moving forward um, space. But but I feel like it's going to come on the wheels of something that's, and this could come around if there was negative criticism, if there was something, I feel like there's still an opportunity here that's easily overlooked, that's easily like, oh no, I don't want that. Uh, and I want you to really pay attention because it could be a really good thing and it could take you forward in a good way, but it has the possibility of taking you into a, a bad thing, into the negative spiral, into sort of you know falling flat. So I, I want you to really look for the good things, the positive things, that feeling that the universe always has your back, that things are working out in your favor, taking as much responsibility as possible so that you can really see the opportunity that lies there. Mm-hmm. Okay. And we have this Six of Pentacles reversed. I'm feeling, pay attention to your items. If you plan on wearing like your favorite piece of jewelry, this to me immediately hits me that you might lose something important. Um, this could be like a favorite necklace, something that your grandmother gave you, something that perhaps was really expensive, but maybe not expensive, just really heart worthy, like has a lot of value to you in your heart. And so I want you to pay attention to, to your items. Maybe this isn't the time to wear those pieces out. Maybe put them in a safe space and just tuck them away for this week for right now just let them sort of you know or if you do take them or wear them or it's something you wear every day just really pay special attention to it don't be careless don't leave things don't take it off to wash your hands you know like really pay attention to to what you to the things that you love the most because I feel like there's a, a warning of possibly losing something, having something ruined that you love, something that you hold dear to you, something that's really valuable, either financially or emotionally. The Ace of Pentacles. So I feel like there's a great surprise coming for you in in terms of worldly goods. Now this could be financial. This could also be something that just means a lot to you, but also has some like worldly hold on it. Like you've really been searching for a new place to live. You've been searching for, um, if you've been looking for something in the material world, I want you to really look 
this week. Really open up the investigation, really take a look because there's gonna be an opportunity of something really good coming around. If it's a place to live, if it's a house that you wanna buy or you wanna find a new apartment, or if it's anything like that, really look out. Maybe you've been looking for something that you collect or, um, but something that, that you've had on the radar for a long time is that's gonna manifest itself and the opportunity for it's gonna be there. So be available to that opportunity. Mm. Okay. And we have the Seven of Cups reversed. Interesting. So I do feel like, I do feel like there's a headspace of things that you've been imagining. There's a headspace of things that both good and bad that you've been imagining. And I feel like if you're not careful, you're having the ability to manifest some of that and that can surprise you and pop into your world. So really pay attention to what you are imagining. Try not to imagine worst case scenarios. You can plan them and see how you would manage it and what you would do to make it a great scenario, to move it forward, to keep you in a good path. But but really be careful if you are are really heightening some negative things that could happen and you're playing those out in your mind, worst case scenario sort of things or just things that you don't want to happen, try to weed those out from your mind this week because you have the potential to manifest and bring it to fruition and I don't think that you want to do that. So really try to keep it as the positive stuff. Make it those positive thoughts, if you can, the things that you actually truly do deeply desire and want. Mm -hmm. And the Ten of Wands. So something that, I don't know that this will be a huge surprise because you have been working really hard for it. You've been bringing something, you've been spending a lot of time trying to get something to come together. Something that you really want deeply, you have worked really hard for, but it has been really hard coming together and it's been slipping through your fingers. And now is the time that it can come to completion. So really settle in. If there are a few last things that you need to do to push it forward, do those things. If there are a few action items that you need to get into that flow, do those things. You're gonna have some real opportunity for a vortex of momentum to bring it to completion, to bring it all together, to really drive it home. So anything that's really been on your radar, if it's for uh, within a relationship, if it's been within your, you know, your health journey, within your, um, your career, really focus on that. Make it a really crystal clear focus. Get those items in line and push it forward now because you have the opportunity right now to drive it home, to make it all come together, which is really wonderful. So actually, if you have been watching so far and you're, um, you're here, let's go ahead and drop a globe for the world. Drop a globe for the world for me because uh, all the world is coming to your hands, your open hands. And how beautiful is that? Okay, here we go. We have the two of pentacles reversed. You've been juggling something. There's been a lot of back and forth. This could be with, um, we're into the pentacles, so we're possibly into the worldly goods. Um, and we're possibly into what you've been uh, searching for. And maybe you've been juggling so much trying to figure out what it is that you really want that you haven't been able to make a decision to move forward. And so this can really turn around, uh, sorry, so this can really turn around to be something that you find, um, but you don't wanna get stuck in the juggle. You don't wanna get stuck in the back and forth. So try to come to some kind of conclusion of what it is that you really want. What do you really want? It's because you're gonna have the opportunity to bring it on home, to manifest it, it's coming your way. So know what it is so that you can really push forward to open up that investigation, to get the thing that you want, to, to really land it this week. And I want to just know about love. I want to know about heart space, love, surprises and love, surprises and love, surprises and love. I'm feeling this right here. Mm -hmm. The Page of Swords. Interesting. So I am feeling like... I'm feeling like there's someone fun 
who's very smart and intelligent. You have great witty banter. But I do think that there's a possibility that they're not all of they're not they're not completely serious about uh about being in this. I want you to really evaluate this. I'm not sure that that's what you want. Um, I'm not sure the level of commitment is there or it, it feels good, it's great, but it, it might not have the potential to really blossom into being what you want. And to get what you really truly desire and want, you might not be able to hold on to that. Uh, so, so I would check around and see if that feels right to you. We are gonna pull our, um, our main card, but I have a couple of fun things first. So first, this is just what you need to know. I wrote out a couple of little cards. What you need to know, what you need to know. What would it feel like? Gosh, that is perfect, isn't it? What would it feel like? So to get that shine back, to get into that space, to land in the thing that you tr that you've been looking for, that you desire, and to own the world. If, if all the world was yours and you had the life that you absolutely wanted, what would it feel like? What would it feel like? What would it feel like to wake up in that life? What would it feel like to walk around in that life? What would it feel like to own that thing, to have that thing, to bring this to completion? What would it feel like if all the good things that swam around in your head really came true? What would it feel like emotionally in your body? And I want you to get so clear on that because that is gonna start the manifestation process for you. What would it feel like? Land in it, own it, stay in it. Let it come to you. Mm. I'm also going to pull one of our um, ancestor and spirit cards, oracles, angel oracles just for something you need to know this week. I love these cards. Ah, oh, yes. Magic Guardian, unlock the magic within. Magic Guardian, unlock the magic within. How are you magical? How do you manifest? How do you bring things about? Because the power is yours to do it. You have so much power within you, much more power than you thought that you did, much more power than you give yourself credit for. If you truly leaned into it, if you let yourself own it, if you let yourself believe it, what could you unlock? If you could unlock everything, what would it feel like? What would it be like? And then let yourself start to lean into it. Lean into it. Let yourself own it and have it. Bring it to completion. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna pull over our anchor card and then we have one more thing where I'm gonna let you answer or ask a question. Okay. Whew. Hi, the lovers. Well, the lovers upright, how beautiful. Raining down on you, seeing each other in your complete vulnerability, completely naked to one another. It's all coming for you. It is all coming for you. What would it feel like? Let yourself manifest this. This is the big surprise that is coming for you. Everything you want <laughs> and the relationship, the love, everything you want. And maybe you're in something right now. Maybe that's the thing that can blossom into this completeness. Maybe it's coming your way. It's on your path this week. Keep your eyes open. Look for beautiful little signs from the universe. This is beautiful. <laughs> I'm really excited for you. Okay, so now you get to ask a yes or no question. So I have written out a few cards. Um, so one says yes, one says no, one says maybe, and one says clarity is needed. So I want you to go ahead and ask a question. Ask a question, ask a question, ask a question, ask a question, ask a question. Let it be something deep in your soul, deep in your heart. Maybe. Maybe. And choices involved here. Is this something that you want? 
Is it something you need? Is it something you desire? You have so much power within you. You have the magical power within you to make what you want come to fruition. Figure out what you want and what you don't want. Get extreme clarity on it because everything you want can fall right into your hands. Be open for the opportunities. Well, this is gonna be a very exciting week for you. My card three, goodness me. Off you go into the world. Light yourself up, this is very important. This feels very important. I want you to be your fullest embodiment of yourself. I want you to shine with all the brightness that you have because excellent, incredible, extraordinary opportunities are right around the corner. And remember when you get here, if something wants to lay you out, there's no reason you have gorgeous, incredible things headed your way. So how do you come back from that so that you can follow your true path to what you truly, really want? Ah, I'm sending you off with love. I'm sending you off with light. I'm sending you off with all the goodness in the universe. I can't wait to hear about this. Go ahead and drop that world below, and I'm going to see you again soon. Mm -mwah. Mia. Welcome in card four. Woo! Yay, what surprises are headed your way? Release anything you don't want. <sighs> Be here. Be now. Let's go. Let's see. Okay. Ooh, we've got two. All right. We have the star reversed. I pulled this in our last in our last pull on card three. I feel like I feel like this is this is you're feeling lethargic. You're feeling down. You're feeling not your brightest, shiniest self. And there's something that is beautiful and amazing and incredible on the other side of this. To be able to turn this around, to be able to get into your fullest version of yourself, I you need to make a few changes. There's something going on where you're just not, you're in old habits. You're doing something that's that's not pushing you forward, that's not making you feel great. And I want you to really evaluate that because the good, happy surprises are on the other side of that. You have to fully embody yourself in order to walk into those. And how can you do that? How can you be the best version of yourself? How can you light up? How can you shine? How can you be seen? How can you, how can you turn this around? And we have the Six of Wands reversed. So I'm feeling like there's something coming in that's going to be a little bit of a disappointing surprise. So something that you thought was going to be kind of magnificent and wonderful, and this could be career related, this could be passion related, this could be purpose related, but something that was feeling feeling really strong and good. Um, this could even be relationship related. This could be a person that you sort of thought was was really wonderful that was walking in. I feel like you're going to discover that it's not as it seems. It's not it, it's not all it's adding up to be. And um and that's it's sort of gonna shine out at you um right right now coming up. And we have the eight of pentacles reversed. So I also feel like something you've been working really hard for is not coming together. So you've been, and maybe it just feels so quotidian. It feels so everyday. It feels so, it, it's just not adding up the way that you thought it would. And this could be financially, this could be in a matter of things that you've been trying to put together, actual items. This could be in your health journey. This could be like you've been trying to put some new, um, some new habits in place to reach some new like physical goals and they're just not working out it's just not coming together the way that you want it to and you're feeling really like disappointed and sort of set back from all of that and maybe that's what's pulling into this star reverse energy of just sort of you know feeling not your best self not your greatest self 
the wheel of fortune. So things are going to turn around. Things are going to come together. You're going to have some good luck. There are going to be some good, lucky, beautiful, fortunate things. So some really yummy things are about to walk into your life and I want you to be ready for them. I want you to be the fullest, brightest, shiniest self that you can be so that you're ready to be open and accepting of the good things, the good, happy surprises that are about to walk in, that are about to rain down on you. But open those hands right now for this. Let's just open the hands. Go ahead and drop a star in the comments right now if you're, if you're feeling this. Drop a star in the comments because we're gonna we're gonna work on you turning that around. We have the Ten of Pentacles. So don't worry. The things that are not adding up right now, that are feeling like a disappointment right now, that are like just sort of letting you down right now, whatever that was, if that was a health goal, if that was a uh, financial thing, whatever it is that's feeling like, ugh, I've been working so hard and it is not what I want. It is not coming together. It is going to come together and it's going to rain for you. It's going to rain good things. It's going to have a lot of outcomes. So this to me is very futuristic. So like it, it, it's going to take a little bit of time to accrue. It's going to take a little bit of time to get into the space that you need to like let that momentum roll, let the good things come, let it all come together. But as it does, it's going to be more abundant than what you than what you ever expected. It's going to fully come together and it's just going to be a complete bath of goodness of exactly what you wanted even better than what you wanted and the page of pentacles so i this i think is there's there's something that's going to be a a thing like an actual an, an actual thing that you can do it can be a new opportunity it could be a message about something it could be a message about this thing. So really right here, right in this space of these things, whatever that is for you, I want you to really be open this week because this is going to start you on the path to here. So this is what you need to look out for. This message, this thing, this opportunity, this, it's going to, it's going to be a little thing that turns into a big thing and it's going to feel like, oh, okay, well, I can walk down this path but it's gonna light up a whole bunch of opportunities and other things for you. It's gonna take you where you wanna go. It's gonna be the small messenger that leads to the big outcomes. Small things, it's a small thing. I love that, that's happy. And the king of pentacles. <laughs> okay, whatever this was, you are gonna land it. You are gonna land it. Not only are you going to land it, but I think you're going to meet a person and this could be a person in your life. This could be somebody new that's coming in and it kind of feels like somebody new that's coming into me um, who is going to embody the, the essence of all of this. So not only are you going to like completely land what you've been working so hard to land, but you're also going to find another person who is extremely good and capable at landing that exact thing. Um, just absolutely brings it all to the table, strong father figure, like completely like knowing, like yummy, good ability to thrive, um, to, to accrue, to build. I like that. And the page of swords reversed. So, I mean, that is interesting. So our sword's getting into like our thought space and whatnot. And I feel like there's there's something that's going to feel like it's, uh, I, I feel like it's going to be some sort of self-talk. Something that you do in your mind that you repeat that you haven't been noticing. What is that thing? And it feels like a negative thing. It feels like something that's, but I feel like you're discovering this. You're like really like, you know, putting a pin in it, saying, this is something I say all the time. Why do I say that? What is that doing? What is that bringing to fruition? Your ability to pin it and extricate it and start to change it is going to change your entire reality. 
What is that thing that you say to yourself all the time? Is there something you can think of right now? Is there something you just need to be really aware for and listen to your thought process? I really listen to those inner thoughts. Maybe start writing them down if you can or taking like little voice notes. The Nine of Swords. So I feel like something is going to, to come in and wash you with a whole bunch of emotion. I'm actually not 100% sure that this is negative emotion for you. I feel like maybe the discovery of this negative self-talk might bring up a whole bunch of emotion for how you've been treating yourself, how you've been fostering and feeding yourself, what you've been telling yourself, what has been keeping you awake, like what has been sort of torturing you in your dreams, what has been, and seeing this is going to be painful because this is how you've been treating yourself. It's extremely important. And your ability to walk into all the best things that you want and all the best things in life really, I mean, has so much to do with the space you're in with yourself. So I feel like it's going to be a little bit heartbreaking to face it, to look at it, to see it. But also, it's, it's the change. It's the motivator. It's the thing that moves you forward, drives you forward. It's really important for you to look out for that. The Ten of Cups reversed. So I think that something that felt like a happy ever after might be falling through some uncomfortable space. And this can be in romance. This can also be in just your idea of what that was. Maybe you had an idea that like, oh, if I do this one thing, if I accomplish this one thing, then I'm at happy ever after and I don't have to do anything else. And I feel like there's an ongoing thing here where you're going to have to continue to be flexible and acceptance of that, that you're going to have to continue to move and maneuver in order to fully have all of the things that you truly want. The things that make you feel like this is happy ever after. I'm so grateful for every single day. This is overwhelming my life with goodness. In order to get here, I think you're going to have to learn how to be really flexible and undulate with it. Um, and I think you're going to realize that that one thing that you kind of have put a lot of uh, a lot of space, a lot of emphasis on, is it's not the thing. It is something else. It is not the thing, and it's an accrual of things. It's an every day, all the time, all these different things coming together thing. Doesn't mean you're not gonna have happy ever after because you are, and you have tons of good fortune and good things coming in. You're gonna have things raining down on you, yummy good things. The Hermit reversed. So I feel like you haven't been taking time for yourself. You haven't been taking time to investigate your deep inner knowings. You haven't been taking time to rest and recover, to pull back from the world, to take what you need, to take the space you need in order to understand what's really going on in your life, what you truly desire, to get the crystal clear, clear clarity that you need. And I think it's time to do that in order for the surprises to be the things that you want in order for the things that you truly desire to come into your life, you're gonna to have to take a little bit of space that you haven't been letting yourself take. And that's, you know, there are some little painful things in there with self-discoveries when you start to investigate your inner workings that are painful and they're hard to deal with. And that does take effort and emotional energy. And maybe you've been putting it off for a long time because of that, but it's important and it needs to happen in order to get here. Okay, I want to know about love, 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 surprises and love. Mm -hmm. The Six of Swords reversed. Um, so I don't know that this is a good thing. This feels like this might be a little bit of a painful thing as you're making some discoveries that you might be moving on from something. This could be something you're moving on from from, uh, from long ago that you, and I feel like the discoveries, 
it could be immediate that could be an immediate thing where you're immediately you know like this is you're you're immediately having some where you're pulling away from something um and you're just sort of discovering that you're pulling away from something um or this could be something from the deep past but i feel like there's some discoveries to be made in here again we're getting into some painful territory there's some discoveries to be made in here that uh, that are going to give you the room to move on from it. And I don't think it's going to feel good, but it's going to be the thing you need in order to move into what you want. Um, and, and that might be that you're figuring out what really was going on, what was going on in your psyche, in yourself, what was going on throughout uh, a relationship that you've really held on to and the pain of the past. It could be, but it could be much more immediate than that. So um, something to, to look out for. We have some, we have an anchor card to pull over and we have some fun things. So first of all, I just want to see what you need to know this week. 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 I wrote out some different cards for what you need to know this week. Give yourself time and space to release. Give yourself time and space to release. Give yourself that hermit time. You need that time. If you don't give yourself that time, it's going to be very hard to get into the space you truly desire. It's going to be very hard to move into your fullest self. It's going to be very hard to land in exactly what you want. But if you can let if you can let some things go, give yourself the room. I think you're gonna find that it's not only is it needed, it's cathartic, it's exactly, it's it's gonna give you the momentum to truly change. And you might need to build up a little bit of reserve of emotional energy to handle it and deal with it, to deal with your own mental space, your own inner space, to handle and deal with things from the past that you're ready to move on from. Um, to look and see what's truly going on inside of you and what your deepest intuition is telling you. But give yourself the time and space to do that. I am going to go with one of these Ancestor Spirit Angel Oracles. I love these cards. They're new for me. Heart Guardian. Love and let yourself be loved. Love and let yourself be loved. And maybe that's what comes in here. Maybe it's hard to let yourself be loved, to think that you are worthy of love. Maybe it is hard for you to love because of that. Maybe it's hard for you to love yourself. Love and let yourself be loved. The heart guardian is with you. Yes, you are safe. You are protected. You are divine. We're going to turn over our anchor card. So we're popping a star down in the comments if you haven't already. Do that for me now. And this is our anchor card. Death reversed. Well, that feels pretty, pretty appropriate, doesn't it? So the letting go, the letting go, it's really putting an end to something and moving to be able to move forward, to come to life again to accept a new life, to put something completely to rest, to completely extinguish it. Whatever that has been that you've really needed to extinguish, that you've really needed to move on from, that you've really needed to die to, it's time to do it now. This is the time to do it. This week, this is the time to do it. So you can have everything that you want. Because some parts of ourselves are no longer serving us, right? I'm gonna let you ask a yes or no question. So we have four answers, maybe, yes, clarity is needed, and no. So let yourself start to ask this question now. Hold the question, hold it. Hold it, hold it. No. No is the answer. I don't think I need to 
do any extra talking on that. I feel like that's pretty definitive and clear. This was my only note for the day. Okay, my dear one. Ah. <sighs> You have your work cut out for you. I feel like it's gonna be an emotional week, letting go. But really good, good things are coming your way. Things that you can land in, that you can bathe in, that are gonna be overwhelming, abundant, more than what you wanted. Look for the path for that. Look for the message for that. Look for the thing that you need to do to start yourself going there. Cause it's gonna land. And I, you know, it's going to land, it's going to blossom and be big for you. And also, in a romantic way, I feel like someone might be walking in who is an expert in that, which is, which is, you know, where you need to be too. But you also are going to have to die to some things, some pieces of yourself, move away from something, go back into yourself, rest, release, pull back, love and let yourself be loved. I am sending you love, my dear. I am sending your heart love. I'm sending all of the love. I'm sending you nice, shiny, beautiful light so you can be seen and be your fullest expression of yourself. Mm. I can't wait to do this with you again. I'll see you soon. Mwah. Mia.